Hello, good afternoon everyone and welcome to another Art for All group. My name is Lucy and I'm a creative artist working at St Christopher's. Um, under ordinary circumstances we would be having an Art for All group this afternoon in the Anniversary Centre or in the Care Building at St Christopher's. Um, but until we're all able to meet up again, we're having Art for All groups online every week uh, on YouTube. And this first image um, I wanted to talk to you about it looks a bit dry and a little bit um, a little bit like a chart you might see in a meeting. Um, but I wanted to think about how art can be a good way to help us maybe get through difficult times. It can be something that's really enjoyable, but it can also um, help us think about the way things are going for us at the moment. So um, somebody put together this um, this uh, this sort of little Venn diagram of um, yeah, what, what are the important things in how we cope with difficult situations and what what can be most effective? And it's actually looking at art in coping with difficult situations. So people looked at how using an integrative creative approach can be helpful. So bringing in lots of different ideas, lots of different ways of making art and ways of thinking about art identifying and naming the impact of a crisis so we've all just been through a pandemic and actually to be able to make art about it and to name it and to talk about it is really important and sometimes art can be a way of talking about things where we don't have to use words um, actually in our art we can focus on strengths and protective factors art can be a safe place to be it can help us express ourselves emotionally and just process what's gone on and it also helps us um, develop sounds very technical develop psychosocial competencies to support our peers but it actually it helps looking at other people's art and other people looking at our art can actually help us understand people better and cultural and organizational sensitivity getting to know what other people are about and getting to know what we're about as well uh, with this in mind this week i wanted to think about the idea of balance in art and I've got a few different examples. So in all of our lives, we're kind of, we're influenced by balance. The changing of the seasons is how the earth is balanced against the sun. At the moment, we're tipping slightly more um, so that our hemisphere of the earth is closer to the sun or faces the sun. So the leaves are coming out on the trees, the days are getting longer, the mornings are getting earlier, and maybe we're all feeling a bit more awake and a bit more hopeful because the balance has shifted towards this different amount of light in our world and but we sort of measure things in terms of halves in terms of light and dark in terms of good and bad and sometimes things can swing completely one way sometimes things can swing completely the other way but I suppose I wanted to think about how we can think about balance in our lives so to think about the good and the bad the light and the dark different I suppose opposites and how that those can be represented in art and thought about in art and played with in art a bit and I found some nice images so this is a palm leaf and this is an example of balance in nature it's this this beautiful could be an abstract painting but it's actually just a palm leaf so the way that nature finds to have balance and also I suppose in our emotional lives this image really spoke to me about um how we can think about the balance between our head and our heart. So thinking and feeling, and maybe sometimes it might feel that we might have felt incredibly panicked by, the, by what's gone on in the past year and our feelings can be overwhelming. Sometimes we might feel that we just have to be really logical and get through things and actually not feel our feelings because that would be too much. But maybe now is the time when we start coming to a balance between those two things and we start being able to um, so figuratively maybe rather than literally like this man with his tightrope walking we can maybe walk the fine line between having our feelings and our and our thoughts one being predominant over the other and I think yes yeah, sometimes we can find balance even when we don't think it's possible so I think um, people who are able to balance stones these are seemingly impossible things to balance but actually I think the things that we think are impossible can actually be achieved um, and they can look almost magical and just the balance can be found with really really simple materials it doesn't have to be 
doing an amazing oil painting or an amazing drawing. It can just be even little sculptures that we make, like putting reeds in a river, as we can see here. And throughout art, throughout kind of the history of human um, interpretation and depiction of our worlds, so we've had kind of balance in art. And um, this reminds me of um, yin and yang in the Far East, so these two fish swirling around each other. And that you can't have light without darkness, you can't have left without right, you kind of, things need to, things need to balance out and how do we, how do we show that in art? And there are a number of different ways we can think about balance. So this is a balanced image, but it doesn't necessarily have a left and a right, but this is called um, radial balance. So it's balanced all the way around equally. And this might be something that you might choose to show in your artwork. Um, I'd also suggest that maybe you focus on collage. So collage means you don't have to get everything absolutely perfect in terms of drawing. So this is sort of a, a perfect image, but you could do this with less than perfect triangles. But it also means you can, you don't have to draw, you can find images that either could be really symmetrical that are already in a magazine and look like this, or you could maybe make your own. And this also made me think of mandalas and how you match up the shapes in different areas and how mandalas can be really, really meditative and just going around, matching up all the shapes, choosing the colors, making something really beautiful and balanced and whole, I think is uh, something that can be really, really interesting. Um, there's also the idea of kind of balance that is kind of asymmetric. So this is a, this beautiful sculpture isn't exactly the same on both sides. It's slightly wonky, but it's balanced and it kind of something about it makes it very interesting to the eye. And you can you can see this as this hole in one side, it's balancing on this precarious point, but it draws us in and makes us want to know more. And in a similar similar way, this image is balanced, even though there's a large apple on one side, small grapes on the other, the colours work against each other. So the grapes, even though they're smaller, they have a greater kind of mass in terms of their dark colour. Then you have the glow of the apple and the shadow behind the apple actually balances out the grapes. So thinking about where things are on the page, where one thing offsets another, and that's another, another way of thinking about balance. And I also looked at this collage um, done by a lady at the Cutout Collage, and uh, she, um, she's balanced it really beautifully here there's kind of reflect, images reflected on either side. And finally, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club is a really good example of balance in collage and art. Everyone's arrayed over the sides. And um, there are these, um, there's, everything has its complementary image. So, um, so yeah, and I wanted to encourage you today, I was gonna show you um, an image that I've made before um, and it is about balance and art, it's about collage. So here's my image, it's been up on the wall in St Christopher's and here you can see there's kind of these larger shapes are balanced out with larger shapes down here but also actually space can be a way of balancing out large images and I just went through I think maybe Women's Health magazine and cut out adverts, I used a tiny bit of text is not so hot there and I turned and um, these are all um, bits of coral and seaweed but I turned them into a flower and added in hands and yeah you could all you need is a magazine a newspaper and just a little bit of imagination and think about balance how do we how do we balance things and maybe with the, the not so hot here is this kind of this is meant to be this beautiful image of kind of hands and a flower, but actually maybe there's something not so pretty about it. There's kind of these, these hands that are a bit disembodied and it's a bit, um, so yeah, thinking about things on different levels and just what you might like to make. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today. I um, hope that you found this interesting and that you might be inspired to try and create your own collages around balance. And I'd very much look forward to seeing them. Um, all the best for the rest of the week. And thank you for joining today.